EA has dropped a new event and uh, it's interesting. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going through the new Hut All Stars event, and uh, boys, we have some big boy packs to open as well, so it should be a good video. So, looking at it here, the Hut All Stars, uh, they only released the North Division today, which is interesting. So, they're doing each division at a time. Today was the North, so we have these Earn All Star collectibles from event objectives uh, for use in exclusive sets. So, we got a Dennis Savard, Shane Doan, um, another Savard, and Keith Kachuk. Um, this is who made the North Division All-Stars. Connor McDavid, no surprise there. Johnny Hockey, uh, Mitchell Marner, Morgan Riley, Tyson Berry, and Carey Price. So obviously, I want to get that Mitch Marner or Morgan Riley. That would be great. Uh, we have also an Iafredi out right now who has two to distribute and two to workhorse. That looks like a good card. Um, and then we went through those cards already. Um, and then the new team of the week that's out, we got a 95 Headman, 94 McKinnon, 92 Seth Jones. Prime times, I mean, some decent prime times. Times out, Pavelski, Yossi, Kuznetsov, Zabinajad, and uh, we have an ultimate choice pack out as well, 24 hours only. Maybe we'll open up one of those as well. But quickly, let's go through the new cards in this set. So looking here, McDavid, all these guys have two versions of this card. So 97 McDavid, two to balance, one to light the lamp, one to shut down. This one has two to barrage, one to gladiator, one to magician. So decent synergies. It's a 97 McDavid. Um, Without synergies, this card's still going to be a beast. Mitch Marner. Now, this is a card I want. Two to distributor, one to passing playmaker, one to wingman. This card looks absolutely unreal. I have his 91 team of the week on my team, and he is OP, so I can only imagine how good this 95 is. His second version has two to spark, light the lamp, and a workhorse. So both cards have great synergies on them for the team synergies, in my opinion. Shane Doan has two to distributor, one to light the lamp, one to workhorse. A decent looking card. He isn't the fastest skater, but uh, pretty pretty good looking card. Um, he only has one. One. Um, Al Alfredi has two to distributor, two to workhorse. This card looks pretty good. Uh, he's pretty slow to be honest, but besides that, not too bad. Uh, Carey Price has two to barrage, one to heart and soul, one to spark. Um, 81 aggression isn't too bad. Um, yeah, it's a decent looking card. His other card is two to swarm, one to distributor, one to balance. This card looks better than the other one synergy wise. Morgan Riley now. This is another card that I want. Two to spark, one to passing playmaker, one to shut down. This card looks absolutely unreal. And then this one has two to distributor, one to gladiator, one to light the lamp. So, yeah, I mean, Mo, uh, a good looking left defenseman who would fit the team. Uh, Dennis Savard has two to heart the soul, uh, one to speedster, one to magician. Um, Sergey Savard has two to spark, one to howitzer, and one to shutdown. Um, a pretty good looking card. He isn't the fastest. Um, Savard is a, uh, pretty fast, to be fair. Um, Keith Kachuk, two to barrage, one to wingman, one to magician. A de decent looking card. Don't know if I'd really want him, but. Wouldn't complain if we pulled them. Tyson Berry, two to barrage, one to light the lamp, and one to workhorse. A very good looking card, actually. Um, and then the, his other one has two to swarm, one to howitzer, and one to shut down. Uh, Shane Doan also has a 91 now, one to distributor, one to light the lamp, one to workhorse. Uh, so these guys have 91s as well. Johnny Hockey has two to balance, one to howitzer, one to gladiator. Oh my goodness, this card is super fast and looks pretty good. He's a, a lower end Mitch Marner, to, be, to, to say the least. Um, and then I think uh, that is it. We have one more page and then these guys have 88. So those are all the new cards um, that have come out today for the North Division. Looking at this, pretty lackluster. You get 2,000 coins and uh, just collectibles from completing all that stuff. So it ain't the greatest to be honest. Um, I don't know if Hut Challenges have anything good hiding in here. Um, just monthly collectibles and all-star collectibles and then the daily challenge, 200 coins, nice. And then looking at the stats, you get the typical gold players for gold collectible, 50 of them for a gold collectible. Um, this set is 18 gold collectibles for a random 94 of Kachuk, Doan, Savard, or the other Savard. Um, this set, North Division All-Star Winner Set, um, so, um... Ran so for a random North Division item, it's 18 gold collectibles. Um, interesting. Um, for both Connor McDavid, it's a 23. Um, so are they all gold collectibles? They are all gold collectibles. You got to trade in his base card there. Um, 90 Goudreau is two. So this is not bad actually. Um, it's not that many gold collectibles for a free 90. Well, not a free 90, but you know what I mean. Two times Mitch Marner. This is the one I want to make. 
um you need 20 gold collectibles for him unbelievable um looking at morgan riley maybe i make him instead of mitch and try to buy mitch um here you need 15 gold collectibles which is doable to be fair so that's not too bad uh we got tyson berry where you need 10 not bad for a 91 overall and then for carry price you need 14 of them uh plus his base card so not too bad for the sets there you can make them instead of trying to pull them um here oh okay so traded 75 gold players for two gold collectibles so you're pretty much paying 50 gold players for one collectible and then what uh 20 25 for uh the other gold collectible so you're saving players there collectible sets so i guess these are from the collectibles you get you can trade some gold collectibles and those for one of the 94s um for the 91s and then the 88s i believe and then these are just for the packs in the store here 94 ally, ally Frady. so you, if you have his 90 you can trade him in with these gold collectibles i believe it's six gold collectibles there and then for mcdavid if you have his 97 you trade him in for the 97 in this event so pretty uh good stuff um so far this event ain't the greatest but it is what it is looking at the packs your typical packs a hut all-star starter pack 15 items including a gold collectible and a guaranteed 83 plus player 30 items uh, this is the skills competition pack 30 items at least 20 players with 182 plus overall player not good at all and then here the high score pack 25 items at least 10 players with six gold or better and then we got these two packs so we might open up an ultimate choice pack um we will see if we want to do that so that'll be interesting and then boys like i said we're trying to pull that mitch marner or morgan riley we got some big packs to open we grinded through hut champs last weekend and hut rivals finished top 500 in champs and finished diamond and rivals so we have an elite pack we have one untradeable or one tradable ultimate pack two untradable ultimate packs and two jumbo premium packs so let's just get into it we will start off with the jumbo premium packs we're hoping for a big pull like i said it has been a while since i pulled something the last time i've pulled something huge was um that team of the year headman now we pulled jacob markstrom um last week he was a 94 overall so we missed out on that but that's okay uh we might just skip this pack these jumbo premiums usually aren't good pure angle sends jersey and that is about it a thomas steen as well uh, we'll open up the other jumbo premium pack <clears throat> and we're just gonna skip through it like i said this pack is big if it was just players i wouldn't skip through it but there's other stuff in it and nothing in here man nick jensen um barclay goudreau and that is it those 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 ones are rough but that's fine let's get the bad luck out of the way with these packs we want our good luck in the ultimate pack so we have an elite pack here 10 items um at least with at least five 80 plus overall players so let's see what we get in this elite pack hopefully something good um here we go so we start off with two jerseys a brady mcnab alexander barkov an 85 okay um not what we were looking for but we'll take it jesper brad travis zajac we got a little devil's pack going on here and a tyson berry who has a 91 overall hut all-stars card out right now and we pull his base card okay we're getting trolled we're on to the ultimates here boys we have three ultimate packs this is 20 items all 80 plus overall players we're gonna start with the untradables and leave the tradable for last we're hitting the first one with the typical nose pack last time i did this i think i pulled uh the team of the year john carlson so we're hoping for something big here first card ryan o'reilly uh jake gardner come on let me see that purple tint make it one of the new players that dropped today in this event david krejcic adam lowry come on ea i grinded for these packs you gotta give me a good pull here you have to you just have to eric gustafson fro leak kyle turris jonathan druen not that many cards left in this pack we have yet to pull a purple tinted player i'm getting sad two cards left and not even 186 plus wow 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 our highest pull was an 84 in that that is garbage all right second author pack we're just going to get into it again 20 items all 80 plus overall players man the odds got to be good in these packs and i'm just not getting the odds give me a purple pull please ea patrick marlowe JT Miller, come on. Tristan Jari. Jacob Markstrom, again, could have been his 94 if this was last week. Ryan Dezingle, come on, man. Let me see an 86 plus. I want to see that purple tint. 
around this card. Let me see it, man. Igor Shostakin, Victor Arvidsson. Oh my God, Mark Andre Fleury. 84 has been our highest in these packs. Purple, there it is! Bang, bang! We pulled Tyson, we pulled his base card two packs ago in that elite pack, and now we pull his 91. Um, the one with two to barrage, one to light the lamp, and one to workhorse. This card looks absolutely unreal, given I won't have barrage, uh, barrage activated on my team. But my god, this card looks insane. He slotted right into my team. Former Leaf, Tyson Berry, pull a 91. We take it. We take it and we move. Our first purple tinted player is at 91 Tyson Berry. That's going to be a huge upgrade to my defense because my defense is pretty trash right now. But Tyson Berry, welcome to the team, man. Uh, worth grinding rivals and, and hut champs last week. That is for sure. And that is going to be it for this pack. But my goodness, 91 Tyson Berry. Welcome home, baby. And now we are left with the tradable ultimate pack. Mitch Marner, Morgan Riley, both of those guys would be great to pull. Can't complain with pulling Tyson Berry, but if we can pull something else in this last one, that'd be great. So Cam Fowler, again, if this was last week, that would have been his 94, but we won't talk about it. Sean Burke, uh, Malcolm Subban, give me one more purple tinted player. One more, at least one more here, EA. Zachary Hyman, love the guy to death. Brad Marchand, okay. John Carlson, uh, Elias Pedersen. Joe, Jumbo Joe, love that guy. Uh, Nick or Justin Schultz. Oh, Leon Dry said, "Oh, we get a base purple." That's all right though. We asked for a purple, we got one, I guess. And again, can't can't complain. We pulled that 91 Tyson Berry, um, Christian Fisher, Michael Backlin, Ryan Murray. Three cards left. Two. Can there be one more purple? Maybe. No, okay, but hey, we cannot complain with that. We will definitely, definitely, definitely take um, that 91 Tyson Berry. And you know what? We're gonna go to these ultimate choice packs, man. Why not? Our pack luck has been great pulling that Tyson Berry. So looking at this ultimate choice pack, 67% chance of getting an 86 plus player in it. Let's go. I think we get to open up two of these bad boys. So we're hoping for the best here. Here we go, Ovi on the cover. Let's get a big pull. Let's keep it rolling here. Martin Jones. Chris Letang, Justin Falk, and Dylan Strom. So we'll take uh, Strom, Falk, and Martin Jones. Second round here. Let's keep it going. We want one more purple at least here. Uh, Hurdle, Johnson, Tony D'Angelo, and Allmark will take the 81s. But going into the third round, usually the best rounds in these packs are the fourth and fifth round. So we'll wait till then. Feels bad, man. Zabinajet has a 90 overall right now. So... That one hurts a little bit, but we'll take uh, Kessel. We'll take Zabinajad and Johansson. I think we got two more rounds. This is round four here. Yaroslav Halak, David Perron, uh, Connor Brown, and Nikita Gusev. So we'll take those three there. Last round. Hoping for the best out of this round. Come on, EA. <clears throat> Something good. Kale McCarr. 89 team of the week, Josh Morrissey. We will take that, boys. Um, I probably gonna sell him he might be able to fit my team one a passing playmaker one a wingman it's a new team of the week not a bad card six feet 195 uh he'll have 90 speed with distributor activated so maybe he makes a team not a bad card uh we got Pedersen and Bo Horvath so let's take Pedersen Morrissey and Kale McCarr so hey not bad pulls and we have one more of these ultimate choice packs to open which is beautiful but hey like I said we will definitely 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 take this Josh Morrissey all right, last ultimate choice pack here. Let's get another great purple here, EA. I have a feeling we're going to pull one more guy here, okay? So first round, usually a dud. We're not going to take point. We're going to take the lowest overalls, okay? Trust me. Um, it's a method in my head. Probably not true, but we're going to stick with it here. Second round, nothing too big. We'll take, uh, we'll take Pareko Shabbat and Dadanov. Third round, we got three more rounds to go here. Jake DeBrusque. Uh, Cam Atkinson. Oh my god, an icon. Boys, we get an icon. Let me turn up the volume. Hopefully, you guys are going to be able to hear it in the capture card. What icon is it going to be, boys? Someone good, please. Bill Masterton, 468 goals. The Islanders. Okay, 90 overall, Pat LaFontaine. Are you kidding me, EA? Let's go. 
What a pull. This this pack opening video has been great. Been great. He has two to Heart of Soul, two to Magician, a very good looking card. Pat LaFontaine, we pull our second icon ever this year, and we will take it. Pat LaFontaine, welcome to the team, baby. Round four here, Jacob Chitron, Patrick Maroon. I doubt we pull anything else in this pack, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. Like, have you seen who we pulled so far in this episode? Last round, maybe there's a purple chillin' in this last round. Jack Eichel, um, Eric Carlson, a bunch of 85s, Jamie Benn, and Ryan Johansson. So, hey, boys, we will take that. What a W of a pack. Our first silver icon pull. We pulled a bronze icon before in um joe sack but hey pal lafontaine we will take it oh i guess the pack opening isn't done we still have 850 points left we have just enough for the skills competition pack uh might as well just open this i think it's one of the ba best packs we can open and carter hard we get a bunch of gold players which is good for the gold collectibles because i think i'm gonna go for that morgan riley um but nothing in this pack but hey pretty good pack i'm interested to see what the cards that i pulled they're going for right now so i'm gonna check that out real quick Okay, so if this Tyson Berry was untradeable, I could sell him for, okay, 250k, so uh, around 200k. Josh Morrissey, how much is this guy going for? Not that much, about 50k. We probably sell him off, to be honest, um, unless I can try to make him fit the team. But we do have to look at that Pat LaFontaine that we pulled. Um, hopefully, he's worth a pretty penny so he can help me make some gold collectibles and get uh, Mo or Mitch. I, as of now, I still haven't decided. I know I said I want to make Mo. I, I, I'm undecided right now. All right, so Pat LaFontaine, 90 overall silver icon. There's none up, so it's going to be interesting to see what he goes for, but hey, pretty good pack opening. Anyways, guys, um, what a video. We had three huge pulls in the Josh Morrissey, the Tyson Berry, and the Pat LaFontaine. What a video. Um, the event from EA, uh, compared to the last two, I'm going to give this one an L, but it's still a decent event uh, regardless. But guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. And guys, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.